hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the brand channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use them actually to get some terrain information from your digital elevation model like maybe slope aspect and the rest of that right good so now for us to proceed let's come to the what the um, app toolbox then we go to the spatial analyst tools then we come to surface right good now on that surface we have um, different tools to work on and um, first off let's um, look at aspect now the aspect derives the aspect from each cell of a raster surface the aspect identifies the compass direction that um, the downhill slope faces for each word location so the input will definitely be what the dem we have here. Then let's um, leave it as um, the default um, output raster, right? Then let's click on OK. Good. So we have what the aspects of that particular um, digital elevation model we are working with. This is actually a bigger sheet. You can clip it to your area of interest if you would want to. But um, we are just working with um, this particular sheet that we downloaded. We are going to leave a link in the description section to show you how to different methods on how to download digital elevation models. Right? Good. So now, this is the aspect. Um, similarly, similarly, we can also look at maybe just trying to zoom in to appreciate what the the configuration right good we can also look at this other one let's say contour the input raster is still what this one the contour interval let me make it um, about 30 then the base contour optional z factor one then the contour type we're actually using contour and then we can just uh, ensure you read the help by the side maybe to help you understand what each of these what um, parameters mean right good in each of the when we open the different surfaces right so we click on ok good so we have um, quite some contours here we can also zoom this to layer and then maybe you can see the lines right good so if we open up the attributes table let me just take this out a bit if we open up the attributes table somewhere around here we are going to see what the values right good so these are what the the contour values for maybe each of those lines if you would want to display them based on these um, values if you want to display the values you are going to use what this particular field right good so um let's look at um, another surface let's look at another surface let me zoom this to layer good let's look at um hill shade let's look at your shade we are still using this now the azimuth by default is this. there are different literatures um, regarding the parameters here especially what the z factor let's say the z factor right good so you can actually check them out to know why um yeah this is a bit longer than the rest of that because um it um, is a bit special due to the conversion of what your z to the corresponding unit of your x and y right good so that's why you have it as what a z factor so if you would want to be so precise about the presentation you should try to um, understand what it means although it's optional but it's actually very important right good so we are going to leave the rest as default and we click on ok good so we have what our ill shade view um, i think i'm um, leaving it um, as um, this default black and white sometimes it's better but let me see if the if we can change the color ramp okay trying to see if the exaggeration is out a bit yeah it's fair enough it's fair enough but um sometimes i prefer using um, global mapper for the presentation right good so now that's for the ill shade of um the this particular dem we have been working zoom to layer of the dem we have been working with right good finally let's um, look at slope 
um, the input is still that then by default let's um, leave it as um, that output so as I've told you earlier you should try to read what what each of these um, parameters mean by the site since the the show help is there if yours is not there you can just click on show help you know it helps to understand what we are doing right good so we click on ok good so we have the slope and different values right good I think I need to come back to the slope again it identifies the slope gradient or steepness from each cell of a what of a raster right good so that's what it does so you can now see what the different values from 0 to 90 right good having different um, categories right good so basically we've shown you how to get um, different um, surface yeah surface information from the ArcM toolbox using them um, of your digital elevation model perhaps you're using it for research and assignment or maybe you're just trying to learn you know and sure to read them um, some literatures on how some of those parameters work and then see how you can modify them to achieve what your result because we have basically used what the defaults that um, we have seen on the um, on the softwares for most of them right good so we have shown you how to get um, the aspect which um, should be this from the digital elevation model we have shown you how to get what the ill shade which is this let me be zooming into some points where we can appreciate what the the terrain and configuration we have also shown you how to get what the slope which is this one and then we also showed you how to get contours which is um, a bit more familiar right good so thanks for coming to class and um, we hope we have um, provided solution to this um, particular surveying or GISM related problem on how to get those um, surface information on um, ARC um, GIS using the ARC toolbox, right? Good. So we are going to see you on the subsequent one. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.